You know, last December, we introduced you to former NASA astronaut, rocket scientist, not astronaut yet, but she will be, rocket scientist Aisha Bo, and her journey toward becoming a citizen astronaut with billionaire founder Jeff Bezos' private space flight company, Blue Origin. Take a look. To quite literally take off on a pretty incredible journey. What's that like and, and all that preparation that you must be going through? It's an honor. I'm excited to be standing on the shoulders of all the trailblazers that made it possible for me to be here. When I was working at NASA, we did not have the opportunity to go into space on a commercial mission. And now I'm able to say, not only am I going, but someone who didn't know what they wanted to be, wasn't focused in high school, had no idea that I was ever gonna go to space, is now going to space. We, we Go into space, and earlier this week, Blue Origin announced the rest of the six-person crew flying with Aisha this spring. Names include our dear friend, journalism powerhouse Gail King, global pop superstar Katy Perry, along with pilot and Jeff Bezos' fiance, Lauren Sanchez. Today, the rocket scientist, entrepreneur, and public speaker is back right here in our brand new studio. Look at, we've decorated it just for you. Isn't this pretty? Aisha Bo, welcome. It's great to be here with you, Gio. Oh, I am so excited because I know you've been sitting on this secret. You have been sitting on this secret. You've been so excited about it. Spring is right around the corner, right? It's coming up. How are you preparing for all of this? I feel like I've been preparing for this mission my entire life, Gio. As someone who began their career at NASA and never thought they would be in space or in science and STEM, to go from community college to being here with you today talking about this amazing group of female explorers is unreal. It's unreal indeed. You, you walked in here and I started singing firework because that really is the energy that you bring to talking about space. And I'm so excited for you. This is also the first time that we're going to have an all-female crew uh, since Valentina Tereshkova's solo space flight in 1963. But again, that was just her. Now you have all of these crew members with you. What does that moment mean for you? Gio, this moment is everything. I think that everyone needs that someone who believes in them. As part of my mission to space, I'm honored to carry the flag of Pete Conrad from the Apollo 12 mission. I'm going to be returning that flag back to space and my flight bag. And Nancy Conrad, Pete's widow, she's taken me underneath my, under her wing. And what we were really excited to do was to connect the past, the present, and the future of space with this all-female crew. Oh, that's beautiful. Have you been able to get a chance to bond with the rest of the crew just yet? Joe, Gail King knows I'm alive. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I was like, wow, I'm actually talking to Miss Gail King. Oh, she's it the best. It has been Love her. unbelievable. And beyond that, it's the wider astronaut community. Earlier last month, we were at the UN. It was the largest gathering of female astronauts. And the Lady Astronaut Society, led by Amanda Wynn, we were so delighted to not only see each other, but become a resource because they have been there for me every step of the way. Oh my gosh. I, I, have you thought about what you're gonna be thinking when you're there in zero gravity, experiencing that looking down on Earth for the first time? I'm thinking about how I never thought that I would be here, and I hope that we inspire millions of people to reach higher, to dream it, to plan it, to do it, Geo. We're working with universities and students to conduct meaningful research. I have an HBCU partner, Winston-Salem, and we're gonna be looking at how plants respond to microgravity. Students are gonna interact with this. People all over the world are gonna have an opportunity to send their dreams to space and have them return. It's just such an exciting moment. And so when I look at Earth, I'm going to be hoping that people see us and inspired by our mission and reach for their own dreams. Oh, well, I am so excited for you. I, I love the energy that you bring to this because I think so many young people are going to be watching you and saying, I can do that too. Yes. Godspeed, as we say. Aisha Bo, thank you so much.